Oh, it's so round. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> So now you're reacting to a girl group called Red Velvet. This is their song Power Up, and Power Up is a song about finding energy in sweltering heat, about powering through summer doldrums. It's, it's also so cold in this room! I'm wearing <laughs> gloves. <laughs> Hi fans, I'm wearing gloves. There's a hat on my lap. During the 2018 summer, South Korea, as well as the rest of the world, experienced record high temperatures. Power Up offers the chance for a reprieve. It was composed by Moonshine, Ellen Berg, and Kazi Opia. Okay, three, two, one, let's. I love the. <laughs> yeah. Like, so give me the little yes. bubble sounds. Oh, they're saying banana. <laughs> Sounds like they're saying banana. <laughs> me and RL skill sight singing on a neutral song. <laughs> Synth pop land. You get to hear the timbre of their voices, which is really precious. See the, the phrase like falls at the end, like how everything's melting. Good? Good? Oh! Those upper harmonies on those vocals, like that just like soared. I like this. And the classic like dance beat like... We're building! <laughs> <laughs> Why is the main refrain banana? Why not? I like that chord progression in the banana section. What is that coin? The, the phrase structure is ah! so irregular. The phrase structure is like my head's trying to wrap around how the phrase is structured. The chorus is like lopsided in a way I've never heard. This is such a summer song. I think that's what I like the most about it. Yeah. It just like is giving me good vibes all around. And the video game like like ascending scales. And yeah. then you have claps. I'm such a clap ho. Oh, it starts in the seven. Seven, one, two, da 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 da. So it's just that extra note that perfects the scale. Man, I love their music, man. They're so good. Woo! If Wreck-It Ralph ever had like a video game and they needed a theme song, I would recommend this. Yeah, I like the chorus, like the bass in the chorus. Oh my god, that was so cute. The chord gets fatter and fatter every time. And now we got the Euro beat. We got the Euro beat. Whoa, that was a cool dance move. Oh shit! God, I love a good breakdown. Oh, it's so round. Oh, oh. What? That was such a weird, like, that's not where I thought. I've heard this before and I didn't think that's where I was gonna go. I love how high that is. That's really cute. This is the grand the drive desk to camp. the <laughs> Yeah! Yeah, I love that. But that's interesting because it's like you go straight from this minor chord to a major chord that's not within the key, so it makes it feel extra happy. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> This is the one song at KCON LA where like I heard it so many times being requested for like the dance booth and I had to know what it was. So I got to hear it many times before reacting to it. Nice. But Isaac. Dude, that was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> because like the very beginning and then the pre-chorus kind of like melted together and it became the chorus. So you have like the two different parts of the chorus, which is really neat. But then I thought it was cool, like the pre-chorus, like there's no bass. So there's like that weird, like, uneasy feeling. It, just, there is, it's just, I it's agree. It's floating on top, uh -huh. and then it, you hear a snare, and you're like, okay, that's like 
low it's like there's, there's a steady beat but there's still no bass and then that's why the chorus is just so hard hitting and the way they play around with the bass and the bridge oh my god you know there's almost like oh. a slightly more experimental orange caramel feel to this song orange caramel yeah because it reminds you know that euro beat especially yeah. that kicks in eventually yeah. it's just this one goes gets a little bit more varied in yeah. styles i like how it has the cutesy facade at the beginning You're like oh okay it's major minor da, 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 and then as you as it goes on it, it, it becomes like you, yeah it just goes all over the place i think but not in a messy way the song's still very well organized i just love it when you expect a more generic just wall of sound type k-pop where it's so busy mm. and it, that busy sound is almost generic at mm. this day and age but then you get a song where it's just so it's so sparse and there's not that much bass and you're just listening to it, you're like i'm bopping to this but i'm my brain is still processing what i'm listening to as i'm bopping to this so good 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 on the composers and the producers Wait, that's so funny. This started and I was like, I think we've reacted to this before, but then I was like, I've never seen the video before. <laughs> it's totally just because we heard it a million that's so times cute. at KCON. And overall, it's so bouncy and light, and so that's what the message was. And it was just yeah. Very refreshing. That so. was that was just such a summer anthem. Like, I could just tell. I don't even know what to say. I just, I like that a lot. It, like, mm -hmm. just made me feel good in the on the inside. On the inside. Brought me back to KCON. Okay. Hugo, you look extremely offended. I'm not offended. I'm just so confused. That was like a lot. Yeah. Like the music and was like, so like, is... whoa. Yeah. And the video was so like, whoa. I know. And like Red Velvet, they're the ones who did the one with the giant cat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy, what do you think? Because I'm still trying to collect my thoughts on that one. Well, okay. I really enjoyed the music. It was so hyped. But like, I was like, why are they taking the banana? They went to halftime and they, um, it was almost like, yeah, we're doing this like, really happy, almost manic pixie song, but here's this like halftime section to show that we can jam. But it, the play was like, it almost felt non-committal. It was almost kind of like, don't forget to take it seriously. Here's a section as to why we, like, I don't know. It just didn't really fit. I guess the best way to put it is it felt like they worked on different phrases separately. Like they worked on phrases separately. They're like, okay, now we're gonna work on the bridge. Okay, we have the chorus down. Okay, now we're gonna work on the, how the verse is gonna sound. But then without actually thinking about the whole line of the song, they put all of those together, which is why it was kind of so like, oh, 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 okay. That can be good, but I just don't feel like there was enough unity throughout the whole thing besides the like very staccato synthesizer that made it sound video game-esque. No, it was cool. I liked how like there was like in like the shout chorus, it was like literally kind of like in it, what could be interpreted as like a shout, but they were like literally like, shouting, like how they were doing, how they kind of stripped the texture and they're like, yeah. In the beginning, like it was like super obvious kind of like the, the blending of the melting of everything around them. And then the, the way like the ends of their phrases would kind of droop to kind of tie into that little effect. Yeah. So, do you think there were one or two choruses? Because there was the like, let's power up. Yeah, and then yep. there's like, ba, da, 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 Yes. Which was super good, by the way. Right. Like, I actually, I really like, Honestly, yeah, it kind of does feel that way, doesn't it? No, but seriously. Yeah. Like, it's really interesting. I think that's one of the reasons this song is so convincing, is because they're like, you didn't get tired of the chorus. Yeah, like, you, get, you get two catchy hooks in one three minute and 27 seconds. Yeah, but they're like, they're both really good, but they also, they also um, work together. Yeah, they also work together. Yeah. It's like one of those songs where you're just like, it's jam time, let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. I think it's the rhythm, like, there's like, because uh, where I'm from, there's like uh, this dance called the Shag. Um, and it originated like in Myrtle Beach. And then like... I mean, and something like, completely different to me, but okay, continue. Do do, do do, do do. Do, 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 do. Like, there are a lot of beach, like fast beach music has that kind of vibe. They had a lot of like running, ascending lines, and like synthesizer, like you were mentioning, it sounded like, yeah. like 8 bit video game music. Exactly. And so I think those like, like major ascending lines really, you know, it just makes you feel peppy. I mean, anything that is ascending in nature just makes you feel lighter and more energized and you know obviously all of these k-pop artists are just they, they bring such energy to all of their songs and especially in a girl group like this i mean just having all of them giving 110 percent and singing at a very fast clip and having like a nice bass beat going under i mean that just automatically makes you feel more awake also i think like the fact that it reminded us like we kept trying to be like what disney channel music does this remind me of like it kind of flashed us back to like our childhoods when we had a lot of energy oh my god so for our generation that's like a thing <laughs>
Hello everyone, I'm Umu, React to K channel creator, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed or learned something from it. If you'd like to support us or help React to K grow, you can do so by visiting our Patreon and help us out by pledging any amount you can. Big tip of the hat to our Superstall Idol patrons, thanks for the love. Till next time, and a happy new year!